Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Lanisi, one of the Suffern Central Math Specialists. I work at RP Connor with grades K to 1. I want to show you how to access our online math program Dreambox from an iPad and a computer. So I'll start with the iPad. Typically you will have this D already on your iPad because our district pushed that out to your iPad. If you do not, you go to the App Store and in the App Store you type in the word Dreambox and this will pop up. But I'm just going to click on the D for Dreambox. Now you open up the app and you have a choice of school or parent. You're going to press school and you need to enter this code in. Now you're saying, why is that code already there? Well, I had typed it in earlier, but that code can be found on the letter that was sent home with your child. And the letter looks like this. And there is the school code for you. Okay. So once you do that, press play. And now you have two options, text login or classroom login. Each class in our school has a unique classroom login. So I want you to try it with the unique classroom login. I'm going to show you first how to do it as a kindergartner because their screen is going to look a little different than our first and second graders. So a kindergarten class code is there and now you will see the students. Each of these is a little person. This is me. And the reason none of us have faces is we haven't made our avatars yet. So I'm going to tap on me and now I have to pick my picture password. And you can find that information by looking on the login card that your teacher gave you. And they should have sent those home as well. So here is my login card. It has my username, my password, has our classroom and the classroom code. So I'm a bug. I press bug and here bug. we go. Dreambox learning. So I'm gonna show you some features on Dreambox. First thing, that was my pause button. I'm gonna press it again so you could see. Two lines means pause, the green, um, in the middle means to play, or this means to play. The speaker microphone up there, that's for your volume. The red question mark will help you two ways. One, it will repeat the question, and two, it will explain it. The X will X you out of the program. These are your coins, which you will collect as you play games, and then you can go into the store. Down here is your back button, your keyboard, information button you don't need, and that's an email button, which you can contact Dreambox. Kids click on that accidentally, we don't need it. So that is Dreambox on the iPad for a kindergartner. Now for a first grader, I'm gonna show you how it looks by unpausing and exiting. So now I just had it open. I'm gonna close it all the way so I can show you this again. Here is Dreambox. It may ask you for the school code, which again is on your paper, it's on your letter. You're going to go to your classroom login, which each class has a different login. So now I'm going to log in as a first grader. That's in Miss Davis's class. And there we go. And now I will enter my username and password. Now my username is usually my first name followed by my last initial and three digits. In second grade and first grade, they have a different three digit code at the end of the name. But again, you'll find that on your login card. Okay. That is how you do it for first grade on an iPad. Now you can also do this from a Chromebook or any type of computer, I should say. And there's two ways to do it. One, you want to go to Suffern Central. So you'd write Suffern Central. Or you could have written RP Connor, but just going to show you the Suffern Central if somebody from another school uses this video. I click on Suffern Central. I will go to Schools. Does everyone see the schools up there? You need to click on your school because each school has a unique code. Once I press RP Connor, I'm gonna to go to teaching and learning and click on the K to five online resources. Once I get to the K to five online resources, I will click on the D for Dreambox. And again, here's your classroom code. Kindergarten, first, second graders, put your code in there and then your class will show up. It will either be the avatars for the kindergarten classes, like this, or for the first and second grade classes, I have to put in the same classroom, a different classroom code, the one that's unique to their class, and press login. And now your username and password. Again, username and passwords are your first name, last initial, and three digits. And your password is usually your lunch code. 
Kindergartners have a different password. They have a picture password, so they just pick one of those pictures. There's another way to log on on the computer as well, so I'm going to X out of the screen just to show you. If you follow the directions on the letter sent to you, this is the letter, and it tells you up here, Dreambox on an iPad, Dreambox on a browser. On a browser, that means the computer, so that's why I wrote computer over here. You just type this website in, and when you type that website in, you will just go straight to our school's Dreambox, because our code is in there, and enter the 51511 code if you're in Mrs. Rosinski's class. If you're in a different class, you have your own code. And again, codes are found on the login card. So now I'm going to type that in. It's a lengthy site, but I'll type it in just so you guys can see. It says play.dreambox. Oh, Got to make sure I spell it right. Dot com backsplash login and backsplash our school code, which is J92W backslash U3RW. Let's hope this works. Here you go again. Now just put in your classroom code, whatever that may be. And then you'll either get a student login spot, or if you're in kindergarten, you're gonna get the little avatar pictures. So that's three different ways for you to access Dreambox. If you have any issues with that, please send me an email at P-L-A-N-E-S-E -E at suffrancentral.org and I'd be happy to help you. Thanks for watching. Bye.